Yeah, it's more like everybody has predispositions, some kind of fate movement, you know, which is just a predisposition. There's, fate's not demanding; it's just a predisposition, um, and then it links to the predisposition of the cycles of time. So sometimes it feels tight. I can't believe I did that again. Everybody's probably said that. Um, and that's when fate really exposes itself. You've decided that's not a good kind of conduct, and there you go again. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's exposed. that's fate exposing it. You have a predisposition that your thinking can't reverse. Your movement is fixed in that sense. Um, and then the opposite of that is, uh, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> that's the opposite that's when fate seems to be not present you know. even you want to do something you can't figure out what to do that means uh, the predisposition is not imposing and the cycle that you're, the cycle of the calendar for instance is also not pushing so then you kind of flatten out um, so that's <laughs> that's our real experience so we're not really in discovering astrology. We're not discovering what God had in mind for us. But that is what Persian astrology became when it arrived in Europe, and that's what it's become by filtering through psychology, is that somehow we were trying to get rid of God, but we still have this idea that we have great purpose, and we didn't need to discover our passion. But it's not good enough to be just alive. We have to have some kind of thing going on. I need to contribute to... <laughs> yeah. well, as it turns out, it's your own ego. <clears throat> so it's a very short story, actually. <laughs> Even though it seems very big. I don't know what to do. Okay, that's the shape your ego has today. But this all is, you know, ego is a problem because we need something to replace God. This is... God creator notion, but the Chinese tradition never accepted the idea of an event of creation or a perpetrator. Never, it heard it many times from other cultures, and it just said, "cute." 